Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I'm here with my little daughter. Lennon. And we are going to share a Dollar Tree haul with you guys. These are a few different trips all in one. We have had a little bit of a rough week in the Navarro household. Um, unfortunately, a lot of you guys know that um, our bulldog Nala is sick. She has cancer. Uh, I, I posted that video. I looked at it today to see exactly what the date was and it was February 28th that I posted the video talking about what was going on with Nala. She has osteosarcoma if you didn't watch that video. Um, but she uh, has been fighting really hard but this past week it's just gotten uh, um, to be too much. So we are um, getting through that. So we, I decided Lennon would do this video with me and um, tomorrow when I think this video is actually going up is when we have to say goodbye to Nala. The day? Huh? The day that we have to say goodbye Yeah, because uh, we're vi filming this the day before and so by the time I put it up, it'll be tomorrow when it's all happening. So I'll probably do another video if you guys are interested about like how we're getting through the process and like and how Nala's doing. Well, Nala's not doing. You know how Nala's doing. Um, but just tips and some things that we've done to help Lennon through it and us as a family and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in um, seeing like different things that I've been doing and um, things that I've gotten for our family to help us get through this because Nala's like another child to us so um if i seem a little down or anything that is what's going no. on and that's why i feel down down <laughs> um but i, I need to because because i cry sometimes i know i'm I sorry baby i know but we're gonna not think about it for a second and we're gonna talk about some recent things that I found at the Dollar Tree, a couple things I got for Lennon that she hasn't seen yet. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up though if you do love Dollar Tree hauls and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. That was a crazy little noise. <laughs> I would love for you to subscribe. Okay, so let's get into this haul. First, I'll start with what Lennon is dying to know what I got her at Dollar Tree. <laughs> So I will share this. Also, if this video's lighting is like kind of messed up, I'm sorry. We're working with some like sun going down, natural daylight. It's just, please just bear with us. It's a tough time right now. Are you ready to see what I got you? Yeah. Okay, you saw these the other day. And yeah, you were like, I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, you know what I'm about to show you? I think. Dun, dun. I got, I finally found Two of these little cute um, little cubbies. Cute little cubbies. You guys, I'm sure, have all seen them, but some random chance you haven't. They look like this, and Lennon loves these kinds of things. And then obviously you he can. Is like, you can go, like, go ahead. You demonstrate. And it changes the color. You can like write stuff like. So this is what they look like. They're not that big in size. They're way smaller than a normal cube. Or a cubby. Or cubby, as Lennon is calling it. But that's not, I didn't get it for that. I thought this would be perfect to put her headbands in. This child is a headband okay. lover. And Every single video you see me, I'm usually wearing a headband, and usually these. You do love those headbands a lot. If I ever forget headbands, I'm like, Mommy, turn back. You have to. <laughs> my dad, turn back. <laughs> turn back. We have actually had to do that before yeah, on the way to school. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I forgot. But I, so I think this will be a good size because she has headbands that are all, you know, like different where, colors. Well, they don't, they're not elastic y, you know, they just stick straight on. So you kind of have to lay them out. So I thought this would be really cute to put in. Her closet where or her headbands are. Or like you are. could do like play them on the outside of it. Maybe use them. Like I don't think so. I think they'll fall. The next thing that I got is this box. I just thought this box was so cute to use as decor somewhere. The top is glittery, if you can tell. And please don't mind my nails. Yes, I know they're terrible. <laughs> like the last thing on my mind right now though but i thought this box is so cute for like some summer decor around the house or you can obviously put stuff in it but i just thought this would be so cute sitting out somewhere and i also found this one that says sit what is it yeah sit back and relax 
I thought this one was a cute one as well. It would be really cute to like put some little lemons in and kind of have them spilling out or something. I just thought this was too cute to pass up. And we are having maybe a summer party, so that's why my mom got them. That's right. You are always about a party, child. <laughs> pot, 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 pot. The next thing that I grabbed was this fan. We go to Disney all the time and I thought that this would be, if it works, it would be a great little fan to have when we're at the parks or anything like that. If you don't know, we do live in Orlando, Florida, so we are at Universal and Disney all the time. And I thought that maybe I could, you know, put something cute, like maybe some cute washi around the bottom one. That's why I got a plain one. Um, but we'll see how this works. If you guys have tried this before, let me know. I'm not expecting like amazingness out of it, but if you know, sometimes you just need a little fan in your life when it's just that hot. If you don't live in a really hot climate though, you don't get it. But like, especially in Florida, it's so hot You would sometimes. not get it if you live in Colorado. If you're watching this video and you're in Colorado, you're saying, no way, Jose, these people are crazy. Okay. Do they live in, like, Colorado or what? <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. Next thing I picked up is this little nose strip thing. It says, cleansing nose strips, charcoal, removes blackheads, works in 10 minutes. My husband always complains about, he wants to like get one of these and like rip the blackheads off. I've tried to get him on a skincare regimen. He does his best, but he's not very good at it. So um, we're gonna try these out and I may have uh, us do it on camera and see what it does and if it really gets anything good. So we'll uh, see how this works out. You gotta put batteries in it. Hey, so yeah. I feel all over the place. I just feel out of sorts right now. The next thing I got, it says it's a cookie turner. I have never seen this at Dollar Tree. And it's, you might think, why not just use a spatula? I thought the same thing. But it's a smidge different than a spatula. It's got a little, like, I don't know, but maybe that's to help it turn the cookies. Speaking I, of cookies. Yeah? Do you think you're going to go on um, do you think I want to make some cookies right now? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. After the dog. <laughs> the next thing I got is food, which I I pretty much never share food on my channel because I really don't buy things at the Dollar Tree that are food for the most part. But I was hungry this day, and I saw these pretzel crisps, which I love, um, that I get the buffalo kind, but I've never, what is this? Bacon habanero. Never tried it before. And ate it all. I did eat it all. You are crazy. And she ate all my chips and she ate all of these. I'm she an emotional eater, okay? <laughs> it's been hard these past few days. She like ate a whole entire bag of chips. Like she only gave me a little bit that day. I bought you new ones. And then she ate like apple. Leave me alone. <laughs> I eat when I'm sad. <laughs> so these are good. <laughs> These are really she good. She eats everything. She's a monster eater. She drops, she drops nuts in her Nutella uh, <laughs> and eats it with this. Why are you giving all my secrets? <laughs> Get out of here, kid. I'm done with you. <laughs> but if you haven't tried these, try them. They're really good. Actually, but we had one of these. You and she ate up all two. <laughs> No, you, you and me like the, they have a honey mustard one that's really good Oh, well. I don't like them. Yes, you do. You love them. Honey mustard kind, though, I've never seen at Dollar Tree. I only regular, maybe like the everything one, and then this bacon the house. everything one. Yeah, there's one called everything. Hold on, your choker. This child is obsessed with chokers now. Like, she only wants to wear a choker. And she only wants to keep eating <laughs> So rude. Rude, girl. Rude. Something that Lennon got is this I do, what does it say? I do not care, but like I don't care. I do not care. I do not care. There we go. And it's just a little phone stand. I thought it might be cute for her to have. And I got it. And you got it. Sure, but sometimes I'm going to steal it. <laughs> sometimes I steal it and put it away to the side and be like, I need to share that. But it's been a while. It's just this little piece of plastic, if you haven't seen it, and then it slides in like that, and then you just set your phone on it. Pretty cool though, right? 
Don't drop my phone, girl. That's what it looks like sitting on there. Lennon wanted you to see, yeah. in case you couldn't get the idea. Another thing I found are these plates. There's only eight of them in here, and it says do not microwave, so beware. But I thought these would be so cute if you're having a summer party of any kind, or a themed party that's like summery or pineapples as dessert plates. Again, there's only eight in it, so there's not that many, but look how beautiful these plates are. What do you think of these plates? Luckily, they're one dollar and really, really cute. So you could get like three or four of them. So. What if you had three plate? If you had if you had three packs and there's eight in a plate, what's three times eight? Have you learned your times tables yet? No. Um, <laughs> what do you think three times eight would be? What's your guess? <laughs> Only take a random guess. Wait, what's my math equation gonna be? It would be 8 plus 8 plus 8. So all 8s? Yeah, 8 plus 8 plus 8. 8 plus 8 plus 8. 24. Good job! <laughs> Using those fingers. <laughs> but I just think these are so cute. Right? Super cute. Proud of myself. Yeah, I am proud of you too. Good job. Sometimes my teacher tells me to count in my head. I'm like, I can't do that with my fingers. What if you have to in second grade? No fingers. No fingers? I don't know. I don't know what they tell you in second grade. <laughs> You'll find out in August. I did buy a couple random makeup things at Dollar Tree. I got this. Mm, I'm gonna put it on. Well, well, I guess we'll show this first. Don't twist things up so high. I got this e.l.f. Um, it looks like this at the top and it said it was a highlighter, a lip, Thing or cheeks. Let me just tell you, you are not highlighting with this unless you have very dark skin. Then, and I don't even know if then. Look at how pink that is. It's just a lot. But it might make some cute blush. Let's see. Wait, wait. Give a little rosiness to the cheeks. <laughs> I need to be blended a little bit. Let's do this one. Wait, wait. What do you think? You don't need makeup blush, you need a beauty blender. No, it's not a beauty blender. Oh. It actually doesn't look bad. It's cute on the cheeks for a little bit of glow, or you can use it on your lips. I You've got some chapped lips, girl. I know. Yeah. But it's kind of issues. Yeah. Use finger. So the color's cute, but you just have to use your finger. For your lips. It's a seven year old application of some lip gloss. Oh, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> You're getting it everywhere. Stop. No, for real. That's enough. God, go wipe your finger off now. So I would say this is a pass if you are trying to use it as a highlighter. If you're trying to use it to give, just give your um, cheeks like a little bit of like flushness, I think it'd be cute. Or as a lip gloss, um, you know, topper or just to moisturize your lips. It's not bad, but I don't know. It's all right. Hello. I wouldn't buy it again. Oh my God! Go look in the mirror. You're you gotta get a Q-tip and wipe around your lips. You got all out of the lines. I did also pick up this blush. I thought this was a pretty color. Let me see. It doesn't. I think the color is blushing, but I just thought it looked like a really pretty color for summer. It does. Now that I look at it, have some like sparkles in it. Let's swatch it. Let's watch it. I'm sorry this Dollar Tree haul is a mess y'all. It's just if any of you guys have gone through cancer with a pet even though I knew it was coming it doesn't make it any easier. Like it, it, I wouldn't say it makes it hard because I'm so glad that we had the extra time with her but oh my god it's just super hard. Oh uh, yeah yeah so oh that's pretty soft. Oh, it's pretty soft. Hold on. Very chalky Can looking I have though. Some? You would need to use this with a brush. What? So the sparkle shimmer is just oh, on the top. Need a brush. I know I don't need that brush. It's just on the top layer. Once you get into it, there's no more sparkle or shimmer to it. Could I, could I but it comes off. You can see it's right there. No. Oh, kind of. I'm sorry. I don't mean to flick you off. Kind of chalky. Here, sure. Look, might as well add some blush to you. I would never use this. <gasps> what? It's a horrible brush. Was I gonna break? 
No, it just doesn't apply very well. You got some cheeks going on, girl. There. <laughs> you look like... <laughs> Step back, you don't look as crazy. Well, she uses the restroom. I will let you know. I also bought this e.l.f. Um, what's it called? What's it called? Mascara. Definitely was not impressed with this for the top lashes. I mean, if you were doing a very minimal makeup look, like makeup, but no, what's it, what's it, what do they say? Like no makeup, makeup look. Um, sure, it might be fine, but if you're wanting like some definition in your lashes, this is probably not gonna give it to you. Just everyone has different lashes though, so you never know what'll work with some people and what won't, what won't. But I will say this, I did use this on my lower lashes and it worked good on my lower lashes and it didn't um, transfer down underneath or like smear or anything like that. So if you're just looking for a lower lash one, this worked pretty well. The wand is pretty flimsy, so it, it will work with you. Kind of a big wand though to use on your lower lashes. If you're in a pinch, this I think will do. I'm not, sh I, I think that this is okay, but it's definitely not great. Alrighty, I, we're wrapping it up. We're wrapping it up. If you saw my recent Instagram post, I posted a picture that I stole my daughter's mermaid little ring holder to put in my kitchen, to put my rings on when I do dishes. But I'm gonna give it back to you. Yeah. Because I found this elephant ring holder and it's much bigger. Here, you wanna go grab the mermaid one? It's much bigger than the mermaid one. Like the bowl is bigger. And I thought this would actually fit my rings better because my rings can fit on the trunk. This is the mermaid one, and then this is the elephant one. So as you can see, this one's much bigger, the actual holder. And my rings would not really fit on that tail, but my rings fit on the little trunk of the elephant. So I'm giving this back to you. Even though I do love the rose gold color. Coppery, it's more coppery. I guess it's kind of both. I think copper and rose gold are very similar to each other. Sorry if you can see my lights behind me. Everything in my house is just a mess right now and I'm doing the best I can. I hate death. I hate cancer. I hate death. I don't handle it well. I'm super emotional and um, it sucks. It sucks. The last things that I have picked up are all pool floats. I got this one that this one is a 30 inch ring and it looks like that. I thought this one was cute. We have a pool at our house and we use it all the time during the spring and summer and a little bit into fall. Um, and we love floats and all this stuff. So getting ones from the Dollar Tree are always the way we go. I mean, we also get a big one, but we do like the Dollar Tree ones. So I found that one that I thought was cute. Show that one. It's a. Uh, um watermelon and it has like these little black seeds in it and there's like a eaten, eaten bite right like a little there. bite taken out so of it, it huh? looks like you ate it like that little girl the other two floats we got are this pink one donut with sprinkles that has a little show a little bite out of it I took the bite <laughs> And then this pizza one, this one does not have a bite taken out of it. I don't love this one. I got this one for my nephews to have over here because they both love pizza. However, they do not like mushrooms and all the other stuff on the pizza. I wish it was just pepperonis. I can't hula hoop but, this. No, you can't hula hoop with that it's not a hula hoop. Can I try the other one? Sure. You're definitely not going to be able to hula hoop with this. So the, that size... Oh, 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 oh. Those are 30 inches as well. Let me see if I can fit that donut one around. Delivery donut? Uh, delivery donut. All right, let's see. Oh, it hits the... Oh, yeah. This will work perfect for me sitting. This falls right off of me. Well, in the pool, you can hang over it. But yeah, so this will work for an adult too. Where's my little bite? And you just sit and relax in it, you know. And try the pizza one. Let's see if the pizza one will fit around me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah! Look, I have so much static from that. Uh-oh, we're gonna shock each other. Let me touch you. Oh no, it didn't shock. 
<laughs> Alright, I don't think this one's gonna fit. <laughs> I knew we were gonna shock each other. Don't do it again, I hate getting shocked. Stop. Oh, this one fits too. Yeah. So, I mean, it depends on obviously what size you are, if it's gonna fit around your waist How or not. You get but, I mean, for a dollar, you can still float around and it should hold you up. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. I know it's kind of all over the place and the lighting's off and things are off, but I hope you guys can understand what we're going through and why it's everything's a little off today. But I promise next week I'll be pretty much back to normal. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, and what else should they do? And subscribe if they're new. Subscribe if they're new! Alright, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video, right? And make sure to take a bite out of this donut. Bye! Bye.